Hi everyone and welcome to another Cora Group video. My name is Kevin Keenahan and in this video I'm going to show you how to compute volumes in Trimble Access and in this version it's 2021. It's very similar in all previous versions so I'm just going to go through it here in 2021. So I have a couple of spot levels here on the main display and the main map view. And if you're wondering what actually these spots are, and you're like, oh, I don't know what the bottom of a bank is or the top of a bank is, you can actually go in um, here into your settings tab. So into the three little dots, into settings, and then there we can display names or codes. So the names are usually the numbers, so it's the codes what I want to see. So I'm going to hit accept, and now I have BB, so bank bottom and bank top. Also in there, if you want to display more um, functions in there or change the color, you can also go back into the three buttons, into the three dots, and display the elevations or change the color. For this, we'll change the color to blue or maybe orange. And accept. So now you see the codes are gone, an orange color. So what you can do is with your stylus pen or even tapping your finger, you can actually tap on all these icons to create um to select all the points so you can see i'm in hand mode so i can move it around but if i go into select i can make a box around all the points okay once i make a box around all the points and just say if i made a mistake you can hit the up shift key on your tac7 or else just click on it and untick the points um, so you can actually tick all them points if you want one by one you hold down on the screen and if you want to just create a surface on its own so if you want a live feed uh, of a surface you can just create a surface but what happens is when you create a volume it creates a surface and it automatically goes into compute volume as well instead of yeah, creating a surface and then go back into the menu into the cocoa and compute volume so you compute a volume you give it a name so I'm gonna call this um, stockpile just go volume hit enter and accept and that's the name of your surface so there's your surface there now I'm just gonna get the hand to move it over so you can see it'll give you a low and high range uh, terrain of the highest and low of the elevation so if I go into 3d just show you what it looks like so there's the terrain so you can see that it's actually a depression um, so it's a dig or it could be a stockpile um, so you'll have the opposite way so if I say I want to know the quantity in here I can go into the method and in here you have above of elevation void volume surface to elevation surface to surface uh, stockpile and depression and surface area so what I'm going to do is do a stockpile it's going to be the name so you can put in your haulage and your shrinkage hit calculate and there you go it gives you a to fill this excavation it's going to be 87,244 cubes okay so it balances out the cut and fill so if you dug that hole it's that to fill it back in it's the same value you can also put in your haulage and shrink value in there and you store that and you can export it out as a volume report later on okay so you can store that uh, and also you have an option of going surface to elevation so what I can do is if I go in here now you see that my surface is created I can go back into my layers key you'll see that a uh, volume is there if you tap it twice it becomes active so when you walk along the surface you'll get a cut and fill so if I want to turn this off for now and I go back into my top view and this time I'm just gonna pick the bottom four so this one this one the BBs and I'm going to hold down and this time I'm going to create a surface I'm going to call this base enter accept so that's my base there and now I want to work out uh, the area of that base so I can uh, so I can work out how much maybe concrete I want to put in that okay so I can go into my menu cocoa and in there you can compute volume and the reason I'm going to go into volume because I want to go into method surface area 
gives me my surface area there of the pad we'll say so it's the base and then the material depth i'm going to put in 0.3 for concrete but if you can put play it you can go into your calculator into your units so mine is set up for meters hit enter and then it says right the base is going to be 300 mil thick hit calculate and there you go there's my volume um, required if i was going to do a base if i store that this time I'll have two surfaces, so I'll have a base here and a stockpile here. So you can see I'll have two uh, surfaces. Okay, one on the top and one on the bottom there. And now I can go in and go, right, I want to compute a surface to a surface. So I say the initial is my base, my final is my SP uh, stockpile, and I can put in a hole and a shrinkage, hit calculate, there you go again, cut from my base straight down which is that cut so I need to cut from my base down to get that up uh, from surface to surface so you can use your design files your TTM files to put in uh, all different types of volumes um, what's really nice as well if you have a surface like the base in there and if you go into your settings you can actually scroll down all the way down and you'll see surface TTM color gradient so you can put in the triangles if you want or an outline color gradient and triangles so we'll just put it in there for now to show you and then you can do a DTM offset so if you didn't want to do a quantity you just want to drop the surface by 300 mil hit the play button up or down vertical perpendicular so I want to go vertical down so now it's 300 mil down hit accept and now if I go into my top view, there's my outline, my triangle, and now I can go in and walk around my surface there, and it'll give me a depth of 300mm below my surface. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.